welcome to Heal It. Today we're going to be making apple crumble, and this is like my favorite like dessert. It's been a problem adjusting to gluten free because there's so few really good healthy options out there. A lot of them they substitute a lot of sugar or kind of gelling agents or or extra kind of sweeteners and flavourings just to compensate when they don't really have to. So yeah, nuts, apples, grapefruit, because I ain't got a lemon. Um, I've got this beautiful little contraption. I've got rid of the skin and now it's just about having a bit of fun. teaspoons of cinnamon and two large tablespoons of coconut oil. Wow, this looks so good. Put a little bit more. Because I like it. Remember the citric acid, <laughs> aka anything from the citrus family. Lemon, grapefruit, it's a bit small this one, but bring the flavour out. A little bit of sea salt is going to add extra flavour. If you look at this sea salt, it's slightly grey. That's because there's loads of minerals in it, which haven't been bleached out like conventional table salt, which most people buy. And now the fun bit, we're going to let it all mix together. Now for the crust. Okay, so we're gonna add one cup of almond flour or any nut flour, and then to, to that we're gonna add two tablespoons of coconut oil, and we're gonna add three tablespoons of cinnamon powder, and then alongside that we're gonna add for decoration uh, some, uh, some nuts. finally come out. I'm just going to leave it to stand a little bit. I'm going to eat this with raw 
probiotic homemade yogurt. Like if you want to know it's made, check out another recipe. A hot apple crumble, like a kind of a mid cold springy kind of British kind of day is the best. Okay, so now the moment of truth. I know it's good, but uh, I just want you guys to kind of know it's good too. So I've already plated it up because I wanted to make it like a masterpiece because that takes a while. The better it looks, the more you want to eat it. And let's do it. Peace out, thanks. Like, subscribe, comment, and let me know what you like or dislike. And see you next time.